I'm Shobhna Kapoor, a food lover, chef, and owner of Sara's Kitchen, New Delhi. I'm delighted to be a part of Good Food, Good Times, and today I'm sharing with you a recipe of mango finny. Mangoes are in season, and are loved by everyone. And this is a quick and easy recipe. So let's head to my kitchen and let's get started. Now we're beginning with all the ingredients that you need for the finny. We need full fat one liter milk which we have kept for simmering in a heavy bottom pan. You have to ensure that your milk is always, you know, being stirred so that it doesn't get burned. We need 100 grams of sugar, puree of two mangoes and 50 grams of basmati rice which needs to be soaked for at least an hour before you decide to make the finney to ensure that they blend well. We have pureed our mangoes in advance. Now we are going to put our rice into a blender at, with the keeping in mind our milk is stirred at all times. We are going to put the rice into a blender and give it a quick pulse, ensuring with very little water and giving it just two or three blitz and now we will check that it is, hasn't thinned too much you can see a certain amount of granules in this uh, they are still this is a little thick so we are going to blend this again That's the perfect consistency of what rice we need. Now we're going to keep this ready till our milk comes to a slight simmer. Once it comes to a simmer, we will add the rice to it. And then followed by sugar in small intervals and not all together. But stirring it at all times. We are going to lower the gas, add our rice into it. Ensuring the entire quantity going into it. We mix this well, ensuring nothing gets burnt. The rice does not stick to the bottom of the pan. We increase the heat of the gas. Now we can see slight bubbles on the edge of our pan. We begin to put in our sugar. We will not put the entire sugar together to ensure it's all mixed well and again does not stick to the bottom of the pan. Now this milk of ours has started getting a boil. At this stage now we are going to add the puree to this. I had tasted my mangoes, they were relatively sweet, quite sweet actually. So I just put 100 grams of sugar. At this stage, you are going to need a whisk to make sure that your mangoes get well mixed into the milk or else you'll get lumps. Now you can see a mango has mixed well. And we are going to add three crushed cardamoms in this, which adds great, great flavor to it. And we're just going to wait for one boil. So our finley thickens. One boil is absolutely enough and no more. Now our 
Finney has got the boil. We switch off the gas and we are ready to put this in our containers, serving containers. These are the earthen pots which are always used for serving Finney's. The rest I am going to pour in one big container and put them in the fridge for cooling and we'll come back and show you how to decorate your finnies for serving. Now I have poured the finney for you showing two options either in your earthen pots or if you have a big gathering and you want to keep it simple you pour it in one bowl. Now we're going to decorate both the options and I'll show you they're fairly simple. We saved about a spoon of a mango puree. We are going to put this on the top, spreading it and taking a sharp knife, a skewer, you just make, wave it through your finley to give it a pretty pattern. As for our earthen pots and to add some colour, we are going to put a nice mint leaf to just add a colour to our finley and see how pretty our finley looks. I hope you all give this recipe a try and happy eating!